Welcome back to another episode of Wake Up and Live with Bob. If you recognize this plant, um, see, if you recognize it, it's a Spanish needle plant, very common in Jamaica and very common in many parts of the, um, the tropical world. Um, well, this morning I'm going to make a nice little breakfast meal with a Spanish needle. A lot of people don't realize um, that we we can use Spanish needle for as food. It's not just rabbit food or bees or food for the bees. But um, yes, it's a very underutilized uh, plant. We don't think of it much as food um, except for the Rastafarians in Jamaica and maybe a couple others around the world. Um, so I'm picking, uh, this is my, my patch, I grow it like a Kalalu patch, I'm sorry if the shadows from my, uh, my shadows overlapping it, but you see there, that's my nice patch there. And, um, so when you pick them, when you reap them, you pick from the, here, see the, you pick the very top off the Spanish needle, don't worry too much about the underneath unless it's soft like this one, um, uh, because, uh, the older parts is very tough all right so I pick that I'm gonna quickly move inside with my little the amount I have here and see what I can do um, I'll catch you back on the inside okay so I'm inside from the garden now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly wash these and then chop them up uh, in the interest of time so I don't waste the videos um, showing you all the necessary stuff, but I'll just um, wash these and chop them up real quickly. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I've washed them and squeezed them. See how small that large amount looks when it's washed. Uh, put them in a bundle and I'm quickly cutting them up. It's even going to look like a smaller portion once we do this. There we have that amount and we are ready to go. So I'm going to make some eggs. I just kind of scrunched around and see all the stuff I have. So I have a little eggs and I have a little tuna. And I'm just going to make a, a quick little egg and tuna thing. All right, back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Um, I already beat my eggs to make sure um, that's ready. I have my leftover tunas, tuna. In here, as you can see, um, the mayonnaise will only make it more tender and soft. Um, I have all my vegetables. I lift them up there. You can probably not see them. So everything is cut and ready. Just going to make sure I put a little... Um, okay, so I, I have my oil. I just want to make sure the oil is even around the frying pan. Um, be careful not to make the oil drop on the stove because it will splash and burn you. All right, and safety's first. Make sure the handle of the, the frying pan is always in when you're working in this area. All right, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> put a little butter in there to make it a little, a little tastier. Give it a little whisk to make sure it's spread all around. All right, then I'm gonna put in my vegetables real quickly. Putting in my Spanish noodle. I already chopped it. <clears throat> and remember, I said um, when you're picking the Spanish noodles, pick from the top, the top, very top, um, like a V shape, like because those are tender and it's easier to cook that way. Spin it around a little, and then I don't want it burning on its own, it will burn. So when it starts uh, shrinking a little, uh, and that takes about 30 minutes, 30 seconds or so, I'll start putting all the other stuff. That's my peppers, my red and white onions, my tomatoes, and a little leftover. All right, and I'll saute that for maybe another minute. Okay, and I'll be right back just to save me some video space time. Okay, so that was just like uh, another minute or so, barely a minute. Um, I don't want the vegetables getting too soft. Vegetables should be crunchy. Um, 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put about uh, two, about two tablespoons scoop of my tuna that I had prepared already. Um, I'll saute it in with the vegetables. All right, and I have my three eggs already beaten. There's no big um, uh, description of ingredients here. I just chopped up uh, like half a um, bell pepper or sweet pepper, a half a tomato, um, a little colander full of uh, um, spinach, I mean um, uh, Spanish needle. It's it's just like spinach, so I sometimes call it spinach, Spanish needle spinach. Alright, so I'm gonna pour the eggs in. Make sure it's even all over. this do its job for maybe about a minute or two don't let it burn um, all right just to save time I'll be right back in a minute okay so I think we're pretty much done one thing I forgot to tell you once you have everything in there going cover it so that the eggs will dehydrate and it won't come out um, you know real soft and, and mucky mucky all right so you cover it watch it get hard remember it's eggs so it will burn and um so you know turn the flame accordingly and watch it until it hardens and it should harden uh, a little bit like this okay so you can see the, all the spanish needle all over and all the vegetables and the goodie if you want to call it um you know a spanish needle egg omelet that's fine um i, I, mean, I just call it cook up all right and i uh, will be back in a minute to show you the final product Okay, so now that I've done, uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. Um, you could just cut it up like a pizza. I uh, use a spatula and just cut it like a pizza and then help yourself to one side. All right, so just to quickly recap, um, the young upper stalk of the Spanish needle, um, bell peppers, uh, tomatoes, uh, onions. I like to use red and white onions. Um, you don't have to, but onions. Uh, you know, add in your um, beat your two uh, beat your eggs. Um, you know, however many eggs you like. If you want to add cheese to cheese, is fine. I don't like cheese. Um, beat your eggs um, and then uh, saute the Spanish needle first. Let it shrink a little. Add in the onions and the peppers and the tomatoes uh, for another 30 seconds or so. Make sure the vegetables are crispy, St still crispy, not fried crispy, but still crunchy rather. Um, once you do that, then you add in your eggs. When you do the eggs, please remember to cover it so this it will dry out and uh, the egg is not watery unless you want it that way. But it comes out um, a little dry. And then um, uh, you cut it up and you're ready to serve. And this would be my final uh, product. So this is my simple breakfast. Um, the whole... Uh, egg, Spanish needle, um, omelet, uh, bread, and no decent Jamaican uh, um, meal would go without a slice of uh, avocado pear. Pear is what we call it. Um, pear is what it is. Um, all right, so there you have it. Spanish needle, egg, omelet. Thanks for watching.